Although snakes in captivity, particularly your pet snake, doesn't get to spend too much time outdoors, if any, the physical act of taking your snake outdoors and to a public gathering can be met with mixed reviews, not only from the general public themselves, but also the law. While simply taking a snake outdoors, as in your backyard, for example, is completely fine, unless there are some rare exceptions, taking them into a highly populated area, such as a shopping center, can be drastically different and likely highly illegal. If you plan on taking your pet snake to a public venue or place of business, make it a priority to make sure that it is legal. The last thing you want is to be forced out of a public venue and public setting and potentially cause a scene. Being asked to leave an establishment because you're carrying a snake will certainly draw attention. That's not something you want. Please call ahead. This is the same for airlines. Can you take a pet snake on a plane? Ask well in advance. How about a school? Your child's show and tell, perhaps. Once again, get it cleared in advance. Although these seem like common sense rules, it's important to be responsible. Snakes are exotic pets. While walking into an establishment with a dog could very well get you kicked out, most everyone has seen a dog on a leash. It's familiar to everyone. However, the visual of a snake, even a non-aggressive and non-venomous snake, can certainly startle a lot of folks, especially those who are unfamiliar with snakes and only view them as a source of potential fear. By and large, the reaction to exotic animals are always a bit more extreme to outsiders. In terms of taking your snake for a walk around your own property or in your neighborhood, the answer is yes. As long as you're holding your snake in a secure manner, or firmly around your neck, and it's not posing a threat to anyone, then you can take your snake with you as you walk. The aspect of taking your snake outside is fair game in the vast majority of situations. Now that we've addressed the basics and covered the common sense approach of asking and or calling ahead as it relates to taking your snake to a public area and or place of business, let's discuss a few reasons to take your snake into a public setting and a few reasons why you should keep your pet snake indoors. Let's first begin with the positives. Depending on the setting, you could potentially take your snake into a public environment for educational purposes, especially if this was invitation-based. If you've been asked by an individual or group with the proper approval to present your snake to the public for educational reasons, this is obviously a positive reason to take the snake outside. As long as you're not using the snake as a means of intimidation, especially to those who could be fearful, you're probably doing a service in the long run. Education concerning snakes is very important. Another positive reason to take your pet snake into the public arena is to show it off to friends. If this is done on your property, their property, in their home, or a park, this behavior is fine. As long as you're responsible with the handling and respectful of your friend, who may not have ever handled a snake in the past, everything should be just fine. The final positive aspect that we'll cover involves taking your snake into public simply because you don't want to leave it at home, particularly home alone. While there is some gray area here, and it could easily be stated that this action is not needed, it all depends on your intentions. Unlike cats and dogs, snakes are perfectly content with being alone. If your quote-unquote end game is positive, then this could be a good reason to take your snake outdoors. Now, Let's transition to the cool reasons why taking a snake outside could be a very bad idea. This reason is likely the most obvious. Negativity not only involves stares and comments, but it could also involve legal action. Most people don't understand snakes, and that's fair. Because this is true, it's important to be respectful. Never take your snake into a public gathering if you're looking for a negative reaction. It's irresponsible to use your exotic pet to get a rise out of people. While 99% of snake owners would never do this, there is always that 1%. Additionally, it's also important to think about the welfare of your snake. Are you scaring your snake through your actions? Just as some individuals view snakes as unpredictable and scary creatures, your snake could view total strangers in the same light. This is very important, yet potentially forgotten. When you take a snake outside, you are exposing your pet to unnecessary risk. Exposure outside, especially on a weekly basis, can introduce new elements. If your snake has been in captivity all of its life, exposure to the elements can potentially promote sickness and disease. What if your snake gets away? Quite a problem for an entire host of reasons. 
You could lose the snake. It could create a panic in a public setting. The snake could die or even be killed in some environments. The negative possibilities and outcomes are endless. Unless you know for a fact that you have a handle on your snake, escape is always a possibility, even if you are in your very own backyard. Never take a risk if you have some doubt. The final negative reason for taking your snake outdoors involves the lack of true benefit. Aside from perhaps an invitation to provide a bit of education to a small group, what is your end game? If we're being honest about the situation, there's far more that can go wrong that can go right. Snakes do not need exercise outdoors or fresh air. You have to walk a dog. The same logic can't be used for snakes. There is no issue with keeping a snake indoors for the duration of its life. Snakes actually enjoy a nice, quiet, and relaxing environment as long as their basic needs are being met. They're actually more at home inside an enclosure than in an open park. Always remember your true objective. Are you taking your snake outside for your snake? Or are you doing it for you? And on that note, that will conclude things for this video. If you'd like to know more on this topic, please visit us at snakesforpets.com. There you will find a detailed article on this subject matter. If you're currently viewing this material off-site, we encourage you to click the initial link in the description box below. Said link will take you to the article in question. We hope you find it helpful and informative. And until our paths cross again, we thank you so much for watching. All the best to you and yours. Have a wonderful day, and we'll talk to you later.